Well, friends, it's that time again. Another vlog. We are in a Cascadia 2024. It's got 96,000 miles on it. I've got all my stuff here. Yes, it's a lot. I have to switch trucks every week, so you're going to have that. A week from today, I get a call in the morning that tells me um, what bid I got on what schedule I got for the for the following, for, you know, for the coming year. So wish me luck. I get my own truck. There's my food for the week, my guys. I got that meat. If you looked at my last video, I talked about uh, grabbing the manager special meat and freezing it. Um, I thought it was going to be an international, so I had this to put my microwave on, but luckily we've got the microwave cubby in these bad to the bone Cascadia. It's a foggy morning and I'm headed to Michigan after I get some water. Look how beautiful. Oh, it's the moon! Oh, speaking of the moon, we're going to be live streaming the path of totality. I am in the path of totality and I am off work that day. So, and my kids are out of school that day. My wife took that day off. We're just gonna have a, a live stream. Uh, in the backyard or front yard it depends on where exactly it's gonna occur at because I got some trees back there uh, blah 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 um, I have a, a film to go over this camera on the phone so you can see it from the phone I also have well I'm working on one for the telescope so well we so just pop and brakes um, check it out that's a beautiful fire station I used to be a volunteer firefighter ask me about it <laughs> getting some water taking it to a, a sam's dc i got a mess back here to put up i love my first like run of the day being somewhere where it's a live load which never happens maybe every now and then it gives me time to put away my stuff and you know i did get the microwave set up because i was afraid it was going to fall off over here um yeah so that's what i'm going to do now and all right here we go I just went ahead and put the bunk down, um, put the prop mattress up there, put all this stuff up against it. It's so what I do in the international. Inter internationals, you cannot raise the bunk. So I've just got used to that. Um, I got a lot of stuff, but that's only because in this truck, you know, that's not my stuff. I have nowhere to put my stuff other than this, you know, so, and I bring a lot obviously, but I'm, if you didn't watch my other video um, from last week, I am almost, let's see, a week from today I get a call in the morning that tells me um, what bid I got on what schedule I got for the for the following, for, you know, for the coming year. So wish me luck. I get my own truck and wish me even more luck that it's a freaking Cascadia because I love the way these things handle. Um, they feel so good on the road versus, versus the International. I mean, obviously it's not a Kenworth, but you know, it's right up there with it. Definitely not like a W9 or a hood truck, man. Those things, those are like butter, like a, a hot knife through butter. You know, that's, we ain't got none of those. <laughs> Anyways, I hear him back there and I'm going to make the bed and probably grab a, a snacky snack and then head out. Okay, here's what I'm having. Bologna, pepper jack, some crazy bread. Look at this. They've already got us done. I gotta get my shoes on and we're out of here. Going to Michigan. So I ran into a driver from where I'm from. Um, I had actually seen him pulling in and there was a truck in front of him that was clearly lost, couldn't read signs. Um, and just, and he sat there forever and then creeped like under five miles per hour. So he, he pulled into the side street and then went on probably on duty or off duty who knows and just creeped in front of the walmart driver i was watching him from my dock um i was about to pull out because they were done with me i had to go all the way back around the building to check out um and i did <laughs> i seen him in the office i talked to him he's really cool um and the guy that was holding up all the traffic came in he had actually walked to the room he walked to the main entrance of the whole building you know what i mean the office and then, you know, walked right by the sign that said, you know, the office is by door 16, shipping and receiving. Walked right by the sign. It was like, oh, no. 
No, he's in front of us on the computer whenever we got in the office. That's when we started talking. And he had somebody else on video call that was driving, that was um, translating the screen for him because he had chicken on the computer. And we we're just like, man, I, I thought it was illegal. You know what I mean? But hey, I just stopped and got Powerball and my guilty pleasure. This will last me, hopefully, a couple days. And then we're out of here. But we're out of here right now. You never know who's working the truck stop. If you see those pictures that I showed you, that was the new, I swear at first it said Americold, but now it's saying some other thing. You'll see on the picture. I'll, I'll zoom in. We can put it right here. Anyways, I just stopped at a rest area. Put it right there. Uh, and I just did my stretches. I've been driving for about two and a half hours. I am in Michigan now. Finished up my stretches and I got to walk around, you know, went to the restroom and well, we're about to head back out. And then the rest of this is two and a half hours, just about. So it's on the very edge of Detroit. <laughs> and oh, man, I'm gonna get there at like 4.30. <laughs> oh Lord, wish me luck, give me strength. <laughs> I swear I'm telling the truth. I'm not just pausing and being like, oh, we're, we made it. No, I. I've done four, let's see, how many miles have I done today so far? Hold up. Sorry for the annoying noise, but that's just me talking. <laughs> 486 so far. Um, No, not going to be home for Easter. Not even going to be around the house. Going to be in Pennsylvania. They got me going to uh, uh, grab something from a vendor and taking it to the, P, the Woodland PA. So I've never been out there for Walmart and well let's just hope it works out i mean it's gonna work out it has to <laughs> let's hope it works out safely it has to anyways i'll probably grab a anyways i'll probably grab a quick break a quick break a uh, 10 hours somewhere some walmart on the way to uh the middle of ohio well 538 miles yeah we're staying at a walmart tonight I'm just super tired, you know what I mean? I still got an hour left I could drive. I just hate waiting to the last minute. That's not something that's not something we do. In the name of safety, give yourself plenty of time to find somewhere to park. And if you start feeling like crap, like tired like me, just park. <laughs> oh. Well guys, I guess this is it for today. I'm gonna put up I'll just keep recording. Why not? I'm going to Pennsylvania. I've never been over that way. Um, like where this DC is, I've never been there. So hopefully I don't have to do like store loads over there for them. Because I hear that it's really hilly and I just ain't in the mood for that. Isn't it? <laughs> I won't be home for Easter. That kind of sucks. Um, by the time I will be able to, uh, my little girl won't even care about Easter no more. So <laughs> oh, that's part of it. I mean... Trucking saved my life. If I wasn't trucking, I'd probably be in prison or something, right? Or dead in a ditch. I'm just kidding. I'm probably not going to put that on there. All right, bye. Sorry about the poor lighting, but I love these. So I went and walked around Walmart. It's kind of like just to get some exercise, right? There, I turned up the thing. I haven't done anything with my beard. I should have done that before I went in. But I got this. $12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open it. Let's find out. All right, cool. And it comes with these little exercises. And check this out. It comes with all kinds of exercises. Heck, yeah. All right, just got hooked to my next trailer. Another vendor, and then we're headed to you know where. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Uh oh, uh oh. Let's see how, how Swift does. They're doing great. Let's go to PA. Cutting it close, I don't even notice like it had a uh, deliver by. Um, looks like I'm gonna be late. I didn't even deliver to DCs, man. They're usually not tight like that. Either way, 
I know to pay more attention to that. But check this out. Chimichangas. Also on our app thing, a lot of times it just, it goes off of like your delivery time or your pickup time. Um, and when you left and it just, I think it's just automatic. I don't think it actually means I'm late because usually we're not due for days. You know what I'm saying? Like they're ahead of everything. Made it to Pennsylvania. Still got plenty of time to go take this store load. Um, even if the load's not, uh, or they don't have an empty there, I'll just park and wait. Just like I did last video. Pennsylvania. Yeah, how about that 2020? Change the rules before an election, how about that? Guys, all the way down there, I went off duty to show you this, all the way down that line, 2025 Cascadias. No more internationals. This is a uh, Woodland or Woodlawn, Pennsylvania, but look at this. anti-slip mats i'm bringing that to my uh dc and telling him about it the safety guy because they showed us a video of a dude slipping and break about busted his neck so let's get these and see more also if you've watched uh my other video i think second to last one um i was at a dc i might have been one before that uh one in iowa i can't remember what dc it was but they had the uh it's the fifth wheel grease you know in a compressed sprayer thing so this place has it too how Check awesome right over there is a huge drop dude walmart took the top of a mountain and flattened it out and said this is our dc now <laughs> yeah there's houses down there i was gonna zoom in on them but that's kind of weird right yeah, i didn't clean it either so just looking at somebody's property i am c i a <laughs> all right well here's the difference between hyundai um tandem uh what are they called sliders and a great day so here's high end day see how close those are we'll put put my hammer up there for reference and then here's great day a lot more space between them yeah bet you didn't know all right before i go back on duty um i'm trying to decide what i should do I've got a little bit less than three hours left. It's a two hour drive. Um, the parking is questionable there. And she already told me that I won't be getting, you know what I mean? They'll be loading pallets overnight onto the trailer I'm taking. So, you know, I can't drop this one right now. So what do I do to stop at a rest area up there? Probably will on the way up there on I-80. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Well, that's my view for the night. Not really, I'm closing these curtains to be a hermit in a truck. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cook some steak and then maybe I'll record a little bit. 2,500 subs, very proud, very proud. See you guys. Quick update, I ended up staying at a uh, pilot, believe it or not. <laughs> um, I was gonna stay at a McDonald's, but things changed. There's 20 times zoom, and then that'd be fun. Wow, my other phone wouldn't let me do a, a 20 times zoom with the video. It'd only do 10. Um, yeah, I just got to the store and got unloaded. And I think I'm going to make some breakfast, do some of the, the egg stuff. Cracking egg. <laughs> Let's zoom in real quick again. Ooh. There he goes. It's like 32 degrees. Probably up there it's like 20 or 14. Screw that. <laughs> Oh, well. um, see you in a bit. We're going back to DC with pallets. All right. Making them taking pictures of them. Look at this. I mean, I'm shaky. It's one of those trike things. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Zoom, buddy, zoom. Oh, he's getting a heavy wind right now. There's a 100X. I meant to tell y'all, the microwave broke last night. Stupid freeliner. That's right. It still tries to heat. It was able to make like a handful of popcorn out of a whole bag, like, like 10, 15, 20 pieces. <laughs> what happened was I was running the electric skillet and I forgot, like, you know, cause I was cleaning the electric skillet and I was gonna make some mac and cheese, some shells and cheese and I warmed that up. But um, 
I turned them both on and the inverter kicked off over over limit, you know. Well, the microwave was in the middle of running, so it messed it up. It's done. I bought that back in like July, late July. So I'm going to get the one that's on this um, cooking in the truck uh, Facebook group I'm in. Um, if I find the link, I'll put it in the description here. You can check that out too. But everybody gets, it's the same brand, but it's like, it's more powerful. And I'll just be more careful next time. I mean, that was my fault. And that's me. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I made mistakes. So learn from mine. Don't run the microwave and electric skill at the same time. <laughs> All right, so that store drop went horrible. I went in the right truck route, and the only way to get there is through this tiny, tiny little road behind the store. All right, in this tiny video, you see that wall there. And yeah, that is how you're supposed to come in there. And holy crap, man, Pennsylvania. I also found something, well, I'm, I'm back at the DC, by the way. Um, no issues other than that part, you know. But they, real quick though, they had us, to get there, you have to drive through the, the grocery pickup. Like, this, this is the most, you talk, you talk about me doing this all the time, look out my mirrors. I like this, like, big time, man, just creeping through there. You know, um, that's some scary stuff. Just gotta quit poofing out or I'm cutting it. I'm trying something new, guys. I got this really cool uh, beard. It's like beard lotion. Um, it definitely stopped the flakes from my face. Now, if I could figure out how to stop the itchy scalp, that would be great. Anyways, come back at the TC. Check. The it is foggy. We are on top of a mountain. It is a mountain. The fog rolled over earlier. There it is, right there. Look at this. I don't think you can see it. Anyways, one thing I found out that I don't like about the Cascadia. I mean, it just reminded me. This thing has a really hefty torque twist. By torque twist, I mean when it's trying to pull a trailer that the brakes are locked on. And you just kind of get on it, then you're off. It just kept trying to pull it. And all I was trying to do was make sure that, you know, do the tug test. And this thing tried to pull the damn trailer across a lot. And when it did, it bent really hard. Then I got off the gas really quick. And then all my stuff back here started making noise because all doing this. And I'm like, oh no, I look over at the camera and it's doing the red thing. So it's got me on that. It's like, man, I, I, I was just doing a tug test. A little bit more violent than I expected. Because whenever you get off the gas onto the brake, you know, everything stops, obviously. But I don't know. That's one thing about the International. It doesn't do the, the twisty, twerky stuff. And going back and forth between trucks every week, um, it really sucks, <laughs> honestly. Um, and I find out. Again, I probably just said that a few minutes ago in this video. I find out in a few days. Um, well, Thursday, April 4th, I think. If I get my own truck, and I hope I do, and I hope it's Cascadia. Um, that way I can get, I'll get completely used to everything. I had a Cascadia 2020 back in the day from SFI. If you don't know, um, um, I did like the lease deal. And um, that truck was awesome. But yeah, man, that's all I got for the Cascadia, the, the downfall. Um, let me think. I got one more, actually. Oh, so I use Adaptive Cruise like it's going out of style. I suggest everybody do. It's just everybody's happier, if, you know, because you can't maintain speed like a computer can. Um, and the Cascadia is designed to keep you at that speed regardless of what's going on. Except when you're going downhill and, you know, I got Ad Adaptive Cruise on. There's nobody in front of me. There's, you know, nothing. I've got to set to 65 because that's the fast we can go. It's in a 70 and um we're rolling down a hill and it bumps bumps the jake brake you know the first setting and then i, I start at 67 then it, it it bumps up the brake break even more now i'm at 60 68 and i thought it was holding steady at 68 i'm like that's not too bad and then all of a sudden it just stopped jaking you know what i mean and then there i go again you know build up more speed so i probably got an overspeed on that so um yeah there's some things that could be improved but if there was a car in front of me, it would have kept a distance. You know what I mean? It would have kept a really safe distance. What is that, like four seconds? A little over four seconds. Um, but, yeah, whatever. Guys, it's the end of the day. I'm so tired. Um, just setting the steel like this. I try to get out and walk as much as possible. Um, I don't know. I would rather... I would rather...
If you don't know who Cash is King Trucking is, then what are you doing with your life? Some of the best lives you'll ever see. And when him and DIY Semi get on together, it's it's just the funniest. The funniest. All right, here we are at the mud hole. That's what I'm gonna call this place. So I stayed over at the Pennsylvania DC and they sent me with an empty to go get water this morning. And we're taking the water from the mud hole to a little DC near Columbus, Ohio. And then we are going on a store trip. It is Easter. Um, they're running me too far away from the house for me to be able to go. There's nobody here. Everybody's at home with their families. And I'm not. But hey, next year. You know how they found P. Diddy's plane, right? I found. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Listen at it. Love it. One day I'll be flying. Ugh. Maybe not those, but I definitely want to do what they call a discovery flight. If you know anything about that, they take you up. And let you have the controls. It's like 120 bucks or something. Before I started recording, Delta flew over and I was like, man, I wish I could have caught that. I'm looking right now to see if anybody's on final. Nobody is. All right, we gotta go. Steppy done stepped right out of his crock. <laughs> oh man, we're here at the mud hole. Big holes. Awesome. Grove City, Walmart for the win. It's Easter, that's right, I'm holding a fork. They feed us good. An update, I got here, um, I gotta do the math, but I got a store load, just full ahead, but I can deliver it today, and then go straight to, to home. We'll see. Great news, I made it to the store. I've got a few hours extra, or like an hour and 15 minutes, I mean after you know you figure in the truck speed i can't believe they were doing the tire tire lube express um yeah that's pretty crazy on easter but whatever who does that you know <laughs> um i didn't even know they were open on saturday or sunday i mean anyways yeah so i'm gonna be home tonight for easter You know it's nice when they got the, when they got the good bricks. Um, yeah, I can't park here alone. <laughs> even all right, even uh, though I'm a Walmart truck, I can't park here alone. So it's just neighbor neighborhood ordinance or whatever. Um, check out this Robin. I don't know what its name is? Yeah. So I slept at the DC. Um, I didn't go home because the time it would have took me to get home. I don't know. I just didn't go home. That way I can have an early start today. So, this is go home day, guys. Um, I'm in somewhere in Cincinnati, an undisclosed location, and I'm going to uh, leave it here. Um, if you like what you see, there's more of this. Um, still trying to figure out what to do with the beard. Gonna give it another week. If it's just gonna poof like this, I'm just gonna cut it way down. Um, I use this awesome cream. <laughs> As I'm trying to do an outro, I'm gonna start telling them I use this awesome cream. Um, it keeps the itching and the flaking away which is uh, really bad for me. I wish I could put it in my hair. I might actually put it in my hair. Um, just just because. It's the reason why I wear a hat, right? Yeah. Um, anyways, back to the end, the outro. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe. Like, share this with somebody who might be interested in driving for Walmart. Um, check out my other videos more than anything. I get a lot of questions that were answered on other videos. Um, um, yeah. I might do another Q&A live soon. Um, that's scary sounding. Um, but yeah, just make sure you subscribe and like. Oh, sorry, I see these birds. Check them out. I don't know if that's a popcorn bag or what, but they're all over it. Like, subscribe. Don't drive behind the Walmart stores because those vendors almost get hit daily, plus the forklift drivers and the kids. My kids, one of my kids, used to be two, but now one, Works at Walmart. He's worked there for over two years. 
and y'all drive like freaking maniacs behind the store, you hit my kid, I'm not gonna be happy. Um, don't drive behind the store. You're not cutting any time, like literally. Don't want to be goofball. Anyways, if you're interested in a career with Walmart, uh, drive for walmart.com. Um, there you can apply if you find a position. Um, you can also ask me questions, email uh, ttlwalmart at gmail.com. You know, TTL short for this trucking life at walmart.com. I mean, I'm sorry, at gmail.com. Um, so you can go do that. Um, use my name as a reference. Uh, my driver number and everything should be below in the, in the description. Please look at that. There's a couple links in the description. Walmart is awesome. I'm so happy I'm here. Bidding week. I already told you about it. It's bidding week now. I seen the guy in there. I went in there this morning. He's already in there talking to people. We got the papers out. Um, my call is Thursday. So that'll be on the next video. I'll let you know. Hey guys, I'm at the house. It's the next day. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know if you do decide to come to Walmart or if, or if you got any questions, please ttlwalmart at gmail.com. But if you use me as a referral on, on your application or when you talk to somebody or whatever, let me know because I'm going to get a hold of your recruiter. Let me know what um, DC you applied to, when you did it, as soon as you did it, all right? I appreciate that. Again, thanks for subscribing. We'll play some music. Okay, well, I wouldn't do the one thing, but...